Hey guys, this is Darko. Welcome to my new video. In this one, I'll show you Android TV interface on TCL's 2020 TVs for the European market. Next to me is 65 inch C81 series from TCL's current lineup featuring Android TV version 9. And in this video, I'll show you menus, settings, connectivity, and some tips along the way. So if you're considering buying a TCL TV from 2020 lineup, then I'm sure this video will be useful. So let's get started. This is the home menu. This is the menu you will see when you press home button on either this smart remote or on this standard remote. It's right here next to navigation. So it's very easy to open. Here you have different options from search at the top and different shortcuts to inputs and settings, to apps, and then in more detail, content from different apps. So currently I have Netflix, YouTube subscriptions content, TCL channel with TCL recommended apps, then from Android TV interface, this featured by Google Play, TED videos, Spotify, and at the end I can customize channels. Before I go to customize menu, I'll show you if I press left on the remote, I can arrange position of certain row. For example, Spotify, maybe I want to have it higher. I cannot go higher than the main line for apps. I can just go to the second or other line. Uh, maybe I want to remove it altogether, certain line. For example, I have installed TED app, but for example, I don't want to see content on the home menu. In that case, I need to go to customize channels. And here I need to find TED. And here I have two channels. Currently the latest talks is enabled. If I disable it, it is no longer visible here in the home menu. During the past several weeks that I've been using this TV, I was only focused on this first row. So apps I have right here, this, these are the apps I'm using on a daily basis. Uh, as you can see, I arrange them to my preferences. Netflix is first, then YouTube, TCL channel, Prime Video, and so on. But you can arrange it any way you want. All you need to do is long press OK button, and then you have this dialog where you can select move and move it wherever you want. If you don't want certain app to appear here, then you can just long press it. For example, Rakuten TV, long press and remove from favorites. So the app is not uninstalled. It's simply moved here at this plus button and here you can see it. So it's still here. Yeah. And I can bring it back to this menu. So this is the customization you can get on the main screen. And if I go to, for example, live TV right now, I can go either through inputs button and select it here, or I can press input button on either remotes. If I now press home button, I'm brought back to the home menu. And maybe I want to go back to live TV or to whichever input I was. If I press back, Oh, I'm, I'm brought back right here to apps position one. So I need to go again back to inputs. Let's do it with this remote. So inputs and then TV. This is how it's done. Will this change with certain update of version nine or, or with Android some upcoming version? I don't know. Currently the situation is like this. Now what I'll do, I'll turn off the TV and then turn it on back again. As you saw, a couple of seconds. But by default, it will take roughly 40 seconds for the TV to come from standby. This is because one feature is disabled by default and I'll show you exactly where that feature is. You need to go to settings, so I go up, right, 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 settings. And here I need to go to device preferences, power, instant power on. Now by default, 40 seconds, 
with it a couple of seconds. However, if you use Instant Power On, some apps might not work correctly or you might see some strange symbols, for example, in YouTube app. So it's good to, to, to try it and then see if it will work for your needs. If you're just watching live TV, then definitely yeah, turn it on and that's it. But maybe if you're using many different apps and you see some issues, then disable it. Another icon right here in the first row, it's called System Optimize. And if I click on it, you will see in the bottom right corner that it's checking the system, displaying memory that can be cleaned. So if you're having issues with your system, you can, with this one button, do cleaning and hope that the system will be working better then. The app is pre-installed, it's called TV Guard. You can open it and see more in details different options here. So you see uh, memory usage. Currently I have nine gigabytes of memory available for apps. And here you have App Manager, you can do deep cleanup, you can open File Manager, there is also help here. And you see recently installed apps right here. In App Manager, if I open, uh, you can uninstall the app here. You can uh, check apps permissions for uh, auto boot. So which apps will could be uh, started right after the TV is turned on. And here you can toggle these options. Microphone also, which apps have access to the microphone. Apart from using remote control, you can also connect keyboard and mouse and navigate menus with those devices. So currently I have this wired keyboard uh, and I'll just show you how it's really easy to open whatever you want. For example, settings, scroll, escape, bringing you back. Um, if I want to open certain input, live TV, Okay, press enter, I see channels. Uh, if I press Windows button, I'm back to home menu. Next, let's talk about sharing content to this TV, for example, from your phone. For that, you need to use TCL's Magic Connect app and this app is pre-installed on the TV. Previously, it was called TCast. And here you will see the instructions on how to do connection. So if I open the app, I can share photos, videos. I can even take screenshot of the interface, which is interesting. So for example, let's see home menu. This is how it looks. And you have some basic controls here. You can zoom in the picture, rotate the picture. Uh, let's see what else I have. This is this wireless display sharing. Uh, it's working well, it's working really fine. And here you see, you can toggle photos. Let's see if I have some video that I can share with you guys. Yeah, from unboxing of this TV. Let's see. And yeah. Yeah, so you see it's working quite well, not as fast as it should, but still you can share quite easily with this app content on the TV. You can also connect USB memory or via network play content from your local server. There is built-in app called Media Player, but you can also install from Google Play Store Kodi or VLC Player, whichever is favorite to you and play content. Uh, in general, it's working okay, but same as with these apps such as Netflix or Prime Video or even YouTube, some videos will not play smoothly. There will be either a small stuttering or some really serious one. Especially, for example, on YouTube, if I play uh, 4K 
HDR content with 60 frames per second, like Morocco 8K, you will see that it can completely hang and there are dropped frames in picture. Uh, I really hope this CL will improve this because uh, I know that most people will use built-in apps to play content and it's really uh, not a good idea to consider people buying external players to play content when there, there are apps available to play uh, content from different providers. Finally, let's talk about HDMI ARC connectivity. It was working fine during the test, however, you need to enable it manually in settings. To do so, I'll go to settings here and if I scroll to device preferences, inputs, here you need to enable HDMI control. You also have additional functions here. And also in this menu, if you want to change name of certain input, you can do so. So you can select custom name or select some of those predefined choices. Although this TV has built-in soundbar and subwoofer in the back, still you might want to connect Bluetooth devices like headphones to watch content during the night. To do so, you need to go to settings, remotes and accessories, and here add accessory. Currently I already have these TCL headphones connected and they were working fine. No stuttering, no issues whatsoever. On my channel I already published video about picture quality of this TV and there you saw that picture settings menu was not the same as Android menu. But however, a few days ago I did the software update and now when you press gear button on the remote you will get to TV settings right here. And not only that it's now integrated in this Android menu, but also you will get some explanation about different controls, which is very nice and it was something that, that was lacking in previous versions. So you see explanation, very nice. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope that you got a feeling about Android TV on TCL TVs. Several years ago I did similar video for one of TCL's TVs and I had similar issues. For example, boot time back then was over one minute with instant power on turned off. Today it's 40 seconds but still it's too long compared to competitors and I really hope TCL will do something about it. I like the fact that they are now integrating picture settings also in Android menu and I hope they will continue optimizing the interface. Definitely this button to optimize uh, memory of system is good. It will help you keep the system running uh, faster for longer periods of time. But despite that, it's important that you also optimize these rows here, not to uh, put too many options because all this will contribute to system speed and of course we all want to come to the content we want to see as fast as possible. Finally, big thanks to Agram Service for sending me this TV for testing. Also, thank you guys for watching. Take care, stay safe and if you have some tips about this TV, about Android in general, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.